Hey guys, it's September the 16th, 2023. We're at Fannin County Motocross. There's JC, his first time here. He's a young kid. He's a, he said he was an AB class rider on a bike, never raced quads, wanted to give it a try. Came up to race with us today. Had a bit of a issue, he missed the first race. He didn't hear it called the staging. There's Adriana Shook on the left. Just get around her here. There's Doc on the right. Began in his second moto. JC's quad made it to right around this turn right here and cut out on him. And he didn't get a race either race. He did get to do the practice. Hopefully he'll come back and give it another go because he really did well, I thought. Looks like we have Marlon Gunter in front of me right now. Coming up around the chicane here. I'm gonna pass him on the step up right here. I remember that. There's a few places I don't mind to jump past. Uh, that's one of them. It's across the tabletop. Dustin is right there. You can just see him go out of the view. I'm gonna come around the turn, you can see him. He, he hits right into that face there. I go really high nose up just to be sure to not do that. That was the first time I've ever hit that jump. They just put it in the track yesterday. So, and no one had hit that jump until we did. We're the first group out, so we're the first ones to get to be the guinea pigs to give it a go. It's not too bad. Back across the finish line. Across the little double here. There's a big double here. I'm, I'm not going to make it. Dustin had some issues with the fuse. He did get it sorted out, so he did not miss any races. Around the chicane again. Back to the step up. I really need to really get back on it in this section. It used to be my fastest section, and I've slowed down worrying about getting kicked on that tabletop right there. I really just need to get back to hammering it down through there and really clearing those jumps. And this one I'm going to have to as well. I'm landing really close to the top, but you need to land on this down slope right here. Back through the flat. They had a dozer out here yesterday. Smoothed this up really good. People don't see how much work they put in to get in this track in a good shape for a race but this was really, really good. It held up all day other than when it started raining, it just got a little slick. We did have another new rider, Austin White, join us today. It was his first time at the track too. He said he would be coming back, so that's a plus. Really, really, really need all the quad riders we can get because it's just not that big of a thing, everyone loves to ride the dirt bikes and there's only usually a handful five to seven quad riders down here that's why we all run at the same time coming around this curve here I remember moto 2 I hit this jump and went nose first into that face of that landing there and it was brutal I didn't crash but my GoPro looked straight down almost when I hit, I left it in the video, of course, and you can actually see how much I'm working the quad under me. Just the last lap or lap and a half or so, so did leave it in for that. Back across this finish line. Coming around again for the tabletop. I've cleared these jumps during the race today, which is a plus, means I'm getting faster struggle with those every time but I'm getting there now I just got to get my groove back on this section I'm barely landing on the top there and I should be landing halfway to this tabletop and that way you're going to for sure clear the tabletop and land on the down slope and here goes JC I just sit back to watch see how he does he launched it over that like I said he's a very good rider just getting started into quad racing. His very first time here. Reminds me of me when I was young, 
I didn't care to do stuff like that. These rollers did well today. I, I think I've got almost the rhythm to not lose so much speed through those. And I pull over here to check on Dustin Milligan and he does get his quad running like I said. We thank you guys for watching.